yeah hello good day today in our tutorials we're considering how to design and simulate a distillation column or um, unit operation and um, this is the question we have right before us that we're going to be working on as a case study um the question goes thus a mixture of benzene and toluene containing 40 more percent of benzene is to be separated into a distillate containing only two more percent of toluene and bottoms containing four more percent of benzene now a total condenser and a partial reboiler are to be used and the feed is 50 percent flushed how many equilibrium number of stages will be required if the reflux ratio is 3.0 the pressure was also given to us so looking at the question we we're able to extract the data and the um, parameters all right from the question you see that the um, feed stream is a binary mixture containing benzene and toluene and um, the feed stream contains um, 40 more percent of benzene, 60 more percent of toluene and the feed stream also um, operates at a pressure of 760 millimeter mercury as one atmosphere and the feed stream is also 50 percent flashed. Now, we, our aim is to this um carry out a distillation that will give us 98 more percent of benzene in the distillate and um two more percent of toluene over there while the bottom is supposed to contain 96 more percent of toluene and four more percent of benzene and we were also given the reflux ratio to be 3.0 so we need to go straight to our design and get this going so i'll click on new okay all right so the components that we're giving to us are benzene and toluene benzene benzene and toluene benzene and toluene added so um for the fluid package i've already taught you how to locate the appropriate or to select the appropriate fluid package for this be sure we'll be using the antoine creation of states and um that's also we move straight to our simulation environment all right so i'll be adding my feed stream i'll call it the name of the stream i'll call it feed you decide what you call your stream and then we're also told that this is 50 percent flashed so our vapor phase fraction is 0.5 and the pressure given to us is 760 millimeter mercury 760 that's only one kilopascal 760 millimeter mercury was given to us and um so we are going to be as many flow rates a molar flow rate of 100 kilogram per hour all right so unknown composition we need to add our composition that was given to us so we're giving 40 more 40 more percent of um benzene that's 0 0.4 and um 0 0.6 0 0.6 so that's all we need for defining the fish stream we need to add a distillation column so you go to click on columns the first is the distillation column so click on it drop it okay now double click to open it so you see this is how the interface looks looks like all right so the first thing to add is our fish stream we'll have a fish stream of um okay the fish stream is entering at the fifth stage now this is where you see the number of stages what we we'll have here is 10 all right so we're going to be running a simulation based on this number of stages okay and see what the results will look like before we make adjustments to get the appropriate number of stages all right so the condenser energy is required call it con q and um total condenser so the overhead liquid outlet is benzene so we are expecting benzene in the distillate also the reboiler energy is required we'll call it rep q Rep Q and um, the bottom liquid is toluene. Toluene. Okay, so that is what we are expecting at the bottom. All right, and um, so that's all. The column name is not compulsory. 
you can leave it at c100 or you can give it a name i can call it distillation or a distillator as a case may be so the next thing to do it comes down to this place we have um stage numbering either your numbering from top to bottom or bottom to top so um you decide the one you want to use so but for this simulation we are using top down okay so you click on next all right we have um, types of reboiler heater heat exchanger and all of that so we are using the regular high seas reboiler you click on next all right now this is where your design starts up properly okay now we understand the fact that the fish stream is entering stage five at a pressure of one atmosphere or 760 millimeter mercury right okay and we have the number of stages is 10 and 760 millimeter mercury that's one atmosphere is entering at the middle okay now we need to get what the condenser pressure will look like and what the reboiler pressure will look like how do we do that now if we have one atmosphere at stage five meaning that the last stage is stage 10 will be two atmosphere okay so we multiply the one coming in times two to give us this then divided by 10. i don't know if you understand what i'm saying okay let me repeat what i just said now we have the fish stream coming into the distillation column at the middle stage that is the fifth stage and it's coming in with a pressure of 760 millimeter mercury which is one atmosphere now the pressure is evenly distributed across the column from top to bottom meaning that the pressure in the bottom is higher than the pressure at the top okay so if that be the case that means the pressure at the, at the middle will definitely give us the pressure at the bottom how we need to multiply it by two so if you are multiplying one by two that means the reboiler pressure is two atmosphere two atmosphere okay um two atmosphere all right so that is 202.6 kilopascal remember what we had was 760 millimeter mercury which is the same thing as 101.3 and which is the same thing as one atmosphere all right so when you multiply, multiply what you have at the middle we have 202.6 now we need to divide this by two sorry by 10 because we have 10 the number of stages is 10 so we divide two divide two atmosphere by 10 so we'll have 0 0.2 atmosphere at the first stage 0 0.2 0 0.2 atmosphere here okay now if we multiply through the first stage is 20.6 20.26 the second stage will give us just multiply by 5 you will discover that the fifth stage will be 101.3 kilopascal okay if you multiply 0 0.2 atmosphere because this is this, uh, this equivalent to 0 0.2 atmosphere like 0 0.2 times 5 0 0.2 times 5 will have um one atmosphere at the middle so if you multiply by 10 you have two atmosphere all right so this is how we you at get your condenser pressure and the reboiler pressure giving a feed stream pressure all right so having done that to move to the next stage optional condenser temperature estimate is this is optional and um the S, um, the optional top stage temperature is also optional so all these temperatures are optional okay so what we need to do now is to move to the next stage and leave that high seas will help us in calculating it okay now we also we also know that we're given a liquid rate or flow rates we have a flow rate of 100 kilogram mole and let's not forget that the mole fraction of benzene is 40 more percent what that means is that 0.4 more percent of the total phase stream so we need to multiply 0.4 by 100 that will give us 40 so we have um, originally we have about 40 we have 40 um kilogram mole per hour 40 kilogram mole per hour of benzene in the fish stream so that we are expecting that that 40 kilogram mole per hour will come out at the distillate all right the reflux ratio was also given to us to be three all right now let me re-explain how 
this works okay let me explain how this works how we got this 40 kilogram mode i know it might be a little bit confusing now if you check let's go back to our question let's go back to our question all right now if you check this 40 more percent of benzene was given to us and for the fish stream let's say like we assume that our molar flow rates molar flow rates is equal to 100 kilogram mole per hour all right so what this means is this if we want to get the molar flow rate of benzene just permit me to write around here okay if we want to get the molar flow rate of benzene it should be equal to 0 0.4 times 100 which will give us 40 so this is where we got the 40 okay so by assumption we are assuming that all of this in the fish stream will come out in the distillate okay so we go back that's how we got this 40 um, kilogram mole per hour in our distillate so we'll click on done click on done and then um, let's go to spec see that our degree of freedom is zero so let's run and see what happens all right so our simulation is converged it's converged and we need to go to the worksheet and see if what we're asked to do if we're able to get the appropriate results now in the distillate we have if you click on um, worksheets click on composition now for the benzene we have 93.86 percent and for the toluene we have um 0 0.016 and um, in the bottom we have 95 more percent so we need 96 here and we need um, 98 here all right and also i need to show you something else if you click on parameters and click on efficiency we assume 100 percent efficiency which is not how like with it it's not feasible in real life so we can as well reduce this efficiency and say okay let's work with 80 percent efficiency as in trade efficiency so we reduce to 80 percent during your own personal design you might have your own efficiency based on the question that is given to you if the qu question gives you an efficiency this is where you enter the trade efficiency click on parameters click on efficiencies and um, enter the efficiency the way I'm doing it right now okay enter the efficiency this way once you do that click on reset and run so let's go back to worksheet and see okay initially this was with 100% efficiency we were having 95.9 now this has reduced to 95.6 so you see um reduction in efficiency affects our purity okay the purity of our product so what we need to do now we need to go back to condition design go back to connections and um let's increase the number of trees the more number of trees we have the more purity we can get so let's try and increase the number of trees let's say 14 let's say 14 and see what we'll get reset and run okay converged so we go back to worksheet click on composition here we have um 97.13 as our purity our target is 98 our target is 98 so let's go back and increase this to let's say um 16 and see what happens Go back to worksheet so we have 98 we have 98 all right so this brings us closer to our result we have 98 percent of um, benzene in the uh, in the distillate and at eight percent of toluene in the bottom all right so this is how to run your design that means we need 16 um the equivalent number of stages needed for this distillation to be carried out properly is 16 all right so that's basically how to run your design 
or to simulate a distillation column. Alright, so I hope I've been able to put you through on how to design your distillation column. Thank you very much for your time. Next class will be considering how to simulate um, an absorber or a stripper as the case may be. And after that, we'll run our heat exchanger. Thank you very much for your time.